last lecture if you recall we had talked about the concept of Carnot map method of minimizing a function and through examples we showed how we can handle or minimize three variable functions. So, in this lecture we shall be extending our discussion to handle four variable functions. So, we shall be extending our discussion to four variables. Now, recall we mentioned that it is not so easy to extend Carnot map concept to larger number of variables. Of course, in books you will see that uh, the authors have said that you can do it up to 6, but up to 4 is easy, 5 becomes difficult, 6 becomes quite difficult, beyond 6 is impossible. So, whatever examples I show here will be only up to 4. Okay. So, if you have 4 variables then how many min terms are possible? 2 to the power 4 equal to 16. So, first thing is that you need to have 16 cells and they will be organized in a 4 by 4 cell array. So, there will be 4 rows and 4 columns, 4 rows and 4 columns. The basic concept of labeling remains the same, you will see that the way you label the rows and columns, it will always be ensured that the neighboring cells will always be differing in a single variable. This will and also there will be a neighborhood relationship between the right and left and also top and bottom, top bottom and left right adjacency will also be provided or ensured. Not only that you will see that the four corner cells will be considered adjacent to each other, why we shall see just a little later. Let us consider a four variable Carnot map like this. This is just an extension of a three variable map where we consider a function with four variables, let us say a, b, c, d, where in this diagram I am showing a, b along the rows and c, d along the columns. And just like a three variable function, the way we label the columns in the gray code order 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Here we are doing the same thing for both rows and columns 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Why? You consider any two cells, let us say these two cells, the first cell corresponds to 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. The second cell corresponds to 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. You check they differ in a single variable, this last position sorry second last position 1 0 1 it differs in the second last position right. Now, you take any pair of cells vertically take this and this the upper cell corresponds to 0 1 1 0 lower cell corresponds to 1 1 1 0 you see these are also adjacent only the first variable is different the other three are the same right. The same thing you can extend to a cube of size 4, let us consider these 4. These 4 corresponds to I am just writing down the binary 0 1 0 1, then 0 1 1 1, then 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 1. So, you see here the second and the fourth variables are the same 1 this is also 1, but the first and the third variables which is a or c they are changing. So, if you form a cube out of these 4 this will be corresponding to b and d minimized form will be only b d a and c will they will be cancelled out. Similar is the case if you take a cube vertically like this they will correspond to 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0. So, again this 1 0 is common the first two are changing they will cancel out. So, c and d will remain it will be c d bar 1 0 right. 
Now, I talked about the four corner cells right. Suppose, there are true min terms in the four corner cells, they are also considered neighbors. So, I can make a big cube of size 4 using the four corner cells which is show like this. How? Let us write down and see this cell corresponds to 0 0 0 0, this cell corresponds to 0 0 1 0, the left one corresponds to 1 0 0 0 and this one is 1 0 1 0. You see last variable is always 0, second variable is always 0, the first and third are changing. So, same way first and third will cancel out and this will be equivalent to b bar d bar right. So, the same concept you can make cubes as you wish if you have this this and this this you can make a cube like this right. Uh, if you have this 4 and also this 4 then you can make a cube of size 8 like this same concept you can use right. So, this is the same corner map where I am showing the cells labeled by the decimal equivalent of ABCD values. So, numbers are made like this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and you skip to the last one 8, 9, 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15. This is because this 1, 1 is coming first before 1, 0 right. Similarly, in the columns these are reverse because 1 1 is coming first then 1 0 all right. Now, let us take some examples. Let us take a function like this where you can see that there are 6 true min terms. Now, if I follow our rule let us try to get the cubes construct this can be one cube I cannot make it any larger. This is one cube, these two ones they are adjacent this is one cube. Now, one thing you see this is also a cube I am showing it dotted this and this you can also make a cube out of this, but this is not required because I have already covered all the true min terms with these three cubes. So, I do not require this this cube anymore. Okay. This will be my best solution minimum number of cubes which is covering all of them, but if I consider this dotted cube also it will not make it any minimum it will be even one more, but here what is the solution these two cubes 0 1 which is a bar b and 0 0 0 1 d cancels out c 0 c bar. Then let us consider this one vertically. So, 0 1 and 1 1 a cancels out b is 1 it is b and it is 1 0. So, c d bar and the last one this top and bottom 0 0 and 1 0 a cancels out b is 0 b bar and 1 1 c d. This is the minimized form of this function right. Let us take another example, let us take an example like this. Well, some of the largest cubes that you can immediately see is one is this a cube of size 4. There is another cube of size 4 you can see which will be these two plus these two. You see you can take these two separately, but this will not be the biggest one because you can also take these two this will be the bigger one. And these two ones are still remaining you can of course, take a cube like this, but again this will be left out but instead if you take a cube like this then this will cover everything I do not need any further cube. So, what will be the expression this column this a and b are cancel, cancelling out a b will not be there 1 0. So, just c d bar plus these two these two 4 0 0 0 1 which is a bar and 
0 0 and 1 0 c cancels out d bar and lastly you have these two 0 1 1 1 means b and 0 1 c bar d this is your minimized form. So, once you do it like this you cannot minimize it any further just the thing that I mentioned let me just tell it once more suppose we, we had constructed a cube like this we had constructed this cube also like this biggest possible, but suppose I also have constructed a cube like this then this cube will also remain this one will also remaining left out. So, I will also have to include it. So, you see I need one extra cube here and this cube this cube these two this is redundant because the cells that this cube is covering these cells are already covered by some other cubes. Okay. So, a particular cell a true mean term need to be covered by at least one of the cubes. So, if I have one cube whose cells are already covered by some other cubes I do not need to include that cube at all I can leave it out that is why I can remove this cube from my map and only 1, 2 and 3 this cubes will do. Okay. This is what we have done. take another example. This is a very nice example regular example which shows 4 ones in the corners. This is very easy the middle 4 will be 1 cube and the 4 corners will be uh, this will be another cube. So, what will be the expression the 4 middle 1 will be 0 1 1 1 it will be b 0 1 1 1 again d or the four corner ones 0 0 1 0 b bar 0 0 1 0 d bar this will be the function b d or b bar d bar right. Let us look at some more examples take an example like this. So, here again let us try to make the cubes as large as possible like one I can see this this four I can make this four I can make these four I can make. Now, you see these two ones are being left out. So, I can make these two together or I can make a cube of four these two plus these two right this is the biggest. So, this will be my best cover. So, if you do it this way this long one a b are cancelled it will be c bar d plus this q on the left it will be b and c bar and these two 0 0 and 1 0 it will be b bar and 0 1 1 1 c cancels out d this will be the minimized form. Right. So, when you choose the cells you should be judicious you should not select something like this I select this I select this then I select this this is not minimum because I make I can make it bigger I can make these two and these two to make it a cube of size 4 right. So, I will try means here I shall try to make it as large as possible the cubes ok. This is another cyclic kind of a structure like you see I can find these four cubes, but the other four ones are isolated. So, I can have one cube with these two, one cube with these two, one cube with these two, one cube with these two. So, what does this mean? See let me again go back. So, our first premise or assumption was that we try to make the cube as large as possible. Okay. The second thing I mentioned that if I find that a cube is covering some cells 
which are already covered by some other cubes that I can drop or delete this cube, I do not need this. Okay. You see in this example, the first thing I am saying is that this is the largest cube, okay. but the other four, well I cannot leave them out because each of them is having at least one or one which is not covered by any one, these are not covered by any other cube. So, when we include these four, you see that the bigger cube is no longer required because the four ones in the bigger cube, they are already covered by these four smaller cubes. So, even though this is the bigger one, I do not need this. So, my cover here will look like this because this middle one will be redundant, it is not required. So, what will be the expression? The left one will be a bar b and 0 0 0 1 c bar. This top one 0 0 0 1 will be a bar c d plus these two will be 1 1 1 0 will be a and 0 1 is c bar d plus these two 1 1 is a b and 1 1 1 0 is c. Okay this will be my minimized form, but if you also include this middle one, then you will also include another term which is redundant not required, it will be actually b and d, b d, b d is not required at all. So, you unnecessary you are using 5 terms, these 4 are sufficient, this will be covering b d automatically, right. This is something you should remember. Okay. Here, let us take a slightly bigger and a more realistic example. Suppose, we are trying to design a 2 bit adder. So, how is this 2 bit adder? It takes 2 numbers, these numbers are 2 bits each and adds them up. Let us say one of the number is 0 1 and the other number is 1 1. So, if I add them up, 1 1 is 0 with a carry of 1, 1 0 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. So, the final carry out will be 1. So, my sum will be actually 3 bits, 2 bits and a possible carry out. So, the sum will be 3 bits. So, whenever you add 2 2 bit numbers, your sum will become 3 bits, 1 more right, because there is a chance of one carry bit coming out, right. Let us look into this example and see how we can use the Carnot map for minimization. Well, here first let us look at the truth table. This is the truth table of the adder. So, just recall in the adder I had said that there will be 4 inputs, the first number a 1, a 0, then b 1 and b 0 and there will be 3 outputs s 2, s 1 and s 0. Let us see, in this truth table I am showing this 4 is a 1, a 0, b 1, b 0 are the inputs and there are 3 outputs s 2, s 1, s 0. So, for 4 input there will be 2 to the power 4 or 16 min terms which I am showing in 4 rows. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1 up to 1, 1, 1, 1 there are 16. So, if you just add you think in terms of equivalent decimal it will be easier 0, 0 plus 0, 0 means 0 plus 0 is 0. So, sum is 0 0 0, 0 plus 1 sum is 1 which is 0 0 1, 0 plus 2 1 0 is 2 sum is 2, 2 is 0 1 0, 0 plus 3 sum is 3, so 0 1 1 is 3, 
0 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 0 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 1 0 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 1 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 0 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, 0 1 0, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 0 0, 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 0 1, 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 plus 3 is 6, 1 1 0. Now, uh, in this Carnot map, we are showing the Carnot map corresponding to the output S2, that means this column of the truth table. So, how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, you see there are 6 ones corresponding to this. You see, first one corresponds to 0, 1, 1, 1. So, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1, this one. Second one is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, this one. Third one is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, this one. Fourth one is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and finally, 1, 1, 1, 1, right. So, these are there. So, now if you try to form the cubes in this case, you see that you will be getting a large cube here, you will be getting a smaller cube here and another smaller cube here, that is all, you cannot minimize any further. So, what will be the expression for S 2? Your S 2 will be this bigger one a 0 cancels out only a 1, a 1 and 1 1 and 1 0 b 1, a 1 and b 1 or let us take this one first 1 1 which is a 1, a 0 and 0 1 1 1 that means b 0, b 0 or this one 0 1 1 1 is a 0, a 0. 1 1 b 1 b 0. This is the function minimized form, this is the expression for S 2 right. Okay. Let us now see what will be S 1. Similar is the case for S 1, if you look at S 1, there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ones. And if you check the 8 ones are distributed like this. So, you see here the cubes will be like this, you cannot minimize it too much, these two, then these two, then here these two, these two and these two are isolated ones, you cannot group them together, they will be isolated. So, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 6 cubes. So, the expression for S 1 will be slightly bigger. Look at this one, it will be A 1 A 0, A 1 A 0 and 1 1 1 0 will be B 1, sorry not A 1 A 0, uh, A 1 dash A 0 dash A 1 dash A 0 dash B 1. Okay plus let us look at this one 0 0 and 0 1 a 1 dash this will be a 1 dash 1 0 b 1 b 0 plus let us look at this one 1 1 1 0 is a 1 a 1 0 0 b 1 dash b 0 dash and this one 1 0 a 1 a 0 dash and 0 0 0 1 is b 1 dash b 1 dash and the two isolated ones this one will be 0 1 0 1 
which means a 1 dash a 0 b 1 dash b 0 and the last one will be 1 1 1 1 which is a 1 a 0 b 1 b 0. So, you see this expression is a little more complex, but this is the minimum form you cannot minimize it any further. Okay? All right. Now, finally, the expression for S 0, the last one here you see for S 0 there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ones which are distributed like this. Now, these are pretty nicely distributed because you can very nicely form the cubes like this one cube will be this, these 4 ones, another cube will be this, these 4 ones. So, S 0 you can write this 2 will be A 0 and 0 0 and 1 0 B 0 bar plus these 2 0 0 and 1 0 A 0 bar 0 1 1 1 B 0. This is the minimum form. Right. So, in this way you can minimize the expressions, this is the minimum form. So, we have seen that in case of uh, this 2 bit adder, so how we can create or represent uh, the 3 output functions S 2, S 1, S 0 in the Carnot map and then use the cubes to minimize the sum of products expression. So, we have seen that means, how to minimize these functions earlier for 3 variables and now for 4 variables. So, Carnot map is very easy to use, very simple graphically if you once you can find the cubes from there directly you can write down the minimized form that is the big advantage. Okay? So, with this we come to the end of this lecture. In the next lecture we shall be looking at a few other issues and uh, concepts regarding the Carnot map method of minimization before we move on to some other technique which is more systematic which can be used for larger functions for minimizing switching expressions. Thank you.